I had two decisions to make when I decided to proceed with the Affordable Care Act. One was to establish a health benefits exchange. Do we do it uh, locally or do we go with the federal exchange? And we decided to do ours with a state-based exchange and that was a fairly easy decision to make because all of our stakeholders wanted to do that on a local level. But the other decision was, do we expand the Medicaid program? And I, I knew that it was the right thing to do, uh, but as a governor, I also had to make sure that it was economically the right thing to do for the state and that I wouldn't make a decision that might bankrupt the state down the road. And so before I made that decision, I asked uh, Price Waterhouse Coopers and the University of Louisville's Urban Studies Institute to come together and do an economic study an analysis of what they thought that decision would do over the next eight or ten years to the Commonwealth's budget. So they worked for six months, came back, sat down, looked me in the eye and said, Governor, you really can't afford not to do this because it is going to, over an eight-year period, infuse about $15.6 billion of new money into your economy. You're going to create about 17,000 new jobs and it's going to have a positive impact on your budget. So based upon that data-driven analysis, I decided to expand Medicaid and we proceeded. Recently, we finished our first full year under the Affordable Care Act and under the Medicaid expansion. And I felt it was prudent, now that we've got a year's actual experience under our belt, let's go back in again. Take a look at what actually happened this first year and make new projections. Because I think any governor needs to make sure and continue to make sure that the state can afford this program. So I asked Deloitte Consulting to come in, again with the Urban Studies Institute. Uh, they did another economic analysis based upon first year actual numbers. And they came back in with a study that indicates that the forecast is even better than first expected. Uh, the first study indicated that we would have about $15 billion of new revenue over eight years infused into our economy. The projection now is it's going to be about $30 billion of new revenue. The first study had projected that we were going to create about 17,000 new jobs over eight years. Well, we've actually already created 12,000 new jobs just in the first year. And based upon that and the projections, they're now that we're going to create about 40,000 new jobs over the next eight years. And that, once again, we're going to have a positive impact on our budget and the combination of new tax revenues from new jobs, savings, and a, a number of different sources, the, they're projecting that we will have more than enough money to, to pay our match as that match kicks in in 2017 at 5% and then grows to 10% by 2021. So it's a very exciting uh, study for us because it confirms our initial decision to do this. Obviously, we need to do this for our people, but we also are going to be doing it now because it's going to create a lot of jobs and be a, an economic boon for our state.